when do you think was the turning point of like when gaming got cool? You know, growing up, being a closet gamer was kind of the thing to do, I guess, because no one really like yeah. Everyone thought WoW was lame, RuneScape was lame, Guild Wars was lame, but now it's not like, me. <laughs> but, well, you know what I'm saying. Like, like yeah. the ones that were playing it, we loved it. But if you were to tell someone, like, "Hey, what are you doing on this Friday night?" I'm raiding with the boys, and mm-hmm. they're gonna be like, "What?" That sounds so stupid. And now it's like everyone, everyone's playing games. If you're not playing games, you're a loser. Now it's just yeah, like it's what cool. A flip. It People is cool. Love like being a nerd. It's like cool to be a nerd. Yeah, you know, it's cool well, to like. When did that change? Now. Um, or what? What was the catalyst for that change? Do you think? I think I think the blow up of gaming and esports, gen in general, was kind of where that happened. I mean, there's a lot that that's happened. I think, but in that blow up, um, the conversation got so huge, um, that all of a sudden it wasn't like taboo right it was like oh yeah. man like what do you mean and unfortunately and it's sad to say but unfortunately i bet you a lot of that has to do with the big money that was like being showcased as gaming esports 20 million dollars you know like yeah. the dota worlds is gonna have this huge pool of money for five players or league of legends and worlds you know yeah um you know, and so that blow up was part of it. And then, you know, also those brands really starting to build a build digital universes for people to connect more with um, League of Legends or Riot Games does a really good job on, on this. And you can you can literally see them doing it now. They're, they're even taking it further. Right. Um, because they, they launch worlds. Right. This huge broadcast of the best players right i mean only the very tippy top of that of the pyramid of people that play league of mm-hmm. legends even like are in that world right Th- this is not where the money is yeah you know but all of that viewership and all of that hype and how that then translates into um you know i'm so and so and i play Jax because you know, whatever reason, whatever story I have, and I connect with Jax as a character or Jinx or Vi or whatever. And so they've mm-hmm. created all of these characters and they've marketed all of these characters to be interesting in, in that universe, right? And then, um, you know, almost to the point where people care about these um, these digital characters, these ga- characters from the game, as much as like, oh, my favorite movie is X, right? And yeah. I'll take that to the grave. Um, and so, you know, you get all this viewership on Worlds and then boom, you know, they drop this huge update, all of these new skins, this whole new like narrative of whatever they're, whatever story they're telling is just going to be a whole thing now forever on League of Legends. Um, an example would be like when they dropped K-pop, the K-pop stars, pop stars. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, worlds, they came out on stage. I think they had, um, they, I forget what the artists were, were named, but, um, you know, they, they, they had very catchy music that kicked off the show. And then it was like K-pop. They had a couple mm-hmm. of K-pop stars that had come out, like four different artists came out and, um, and then all of a sudden, boom, those skins were live the next day. Everyone was in love with them and like everyone's just buying it all up, right? Um, so now you have people that are connecting with the things that they like, K-pop. Now that exists in the realm of, you know, League of Legends. And then yeah. they get to associate that. Not only, I love K-pop, I also love Ari. Now there's a K-pop Ari skin. Oh my God, I love playing Ari. I'm only ever going to use this skin. Oh my God, I love yep. League of Legends. They built this world for me. And so, you know, when you it look at- It becomes your identity. Yeah, it's, yeah, in a way. like, And people, you know, they should like lean into that and they should be proud of that. Um, but, you know, it's a big win for Riot because they make people feel good about connecting yeah. with their game. And then now they're going to the point of like, okay, cool, now we're making Netflix series. Have you watched that, by the way, Arcane? I actually haven't, but I heard it's amazing. I was very skeptical going going into it, and then I watched it, and yeah, it was like incredible. I was like, "You got to be kidding me!" 
you know their production is so, like, good it's their cinematic good. trailers are insane very very good you know they have the, they have the best folks in the industry working on that product mm-hmm. so um anyways um so i know yeah we got a little bit in the weeds there with riot but um yeah i think the combination of oh esports gaming this is really a thing and then the companies that really leaned into it to help people like resonate and like let it be part of their identity as a person and say and like by the way it's okay and let that spill out into the real world um and then now all of a sudden it's cool <laughs> i'm like it's, yeah you know over the past 10 years because like you're and right like, when you're in high school you know i know most of my friends were like hiding the fact that they play world yep. warcraft <laughs> you know and i have a friend uh i'm not gonna say his name but i got him into world of warcraft and um we were we were uh on a boy scout trip actually oh and i probably know the guy we were in florida yeah you do know the guy and <laughs> i told him, i was like this 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 game is amazing you know and uh he just like sat there and acted like cool whatever and then he went home after that trip and started playing that game and he never told me for years like <laughs> I got him into the game because I, I was so obsessed with it. And then he was so, you know, oh, my gosh, because like nobody wanted to be found out, you know, yeah. nobody wanted. It was like that. He didn't want to be that guy. So <laughs> anyways, Dude, yeah, yeah funny that how that stuff, it, it was cool to be able to find, um, you know, like with the skins in League, you find your identity like with the character and you want a cool skin to portray who you are and kind of how you feel about the game. And then that's the beauty about an MMO. It's like, I can relate everything in life to the gym and an MMO. That's yeah. just life to me. Yeah, dude, go, <laughs> go hit the squats, pump some iron, go home, drink, drink a beer and play some World of Warcraft yeah. or Guild Wars or whatever, you know? And there's Eric's day in the life. There it is. <laughs> that's it right there. 